No costings and no construction date, the Premier's hard sell to solve Sydney's congestion nightmare. Premier Mike Baird was out today seeking to sell the electorate on selling off part of the state's electricity network. He wants $20 billion to spend on new infrastructure like fast trains to Bankstown. But critics are asking, where are the plans? The hardest part of this morning's announcement... It will redefine Sydney as a capital city. So. Was, well, making the announcement itself. Additional Highlighting the benefits of our $20 billion. To arrive on platform circular key, St James. It was the only thing that could stop Mike Baird from spruiking the benefits of his electricity sell-off. This is an amazing opportunity for this great city and that's why we're so determined to bring the $20 billion infrastructure plan uh, to the community. If Mr Baird wins next year's election, he's vowed to sell 49% of the state's electricity assets. It could help raise $20 billion funding extra links for the West Connex motorway and a second harbour rail crossing connecting Chatswood to Sydney. Then running into Bankstown with that line overhauled for driverless trains every few minutes. This is not only affordable, it is achievable, it is necessary, it is urgent. But there is a catch. The Transport Minister was unable to say how much this project would cost or exactly when this station would be transformed for the new line that's planned to start here. I'm confident construction will start in the next two or three years and between now and then we'll obviously do the detailed feasibility and planning. This stunt this morning gives a great insight into how little detail there is on any of the announcements. Commuters are also wary. Oh, they've been promising that for years. It's really hard to uh, get excited about something that you don't know if it's going to happen or not. We're always promised something and it's really done. Good news. I hope it happens. Despite promises of cheaper power bills and more infrastructure, the opposition will continue its attack. We're going to campaign vigorously against this because it's going to see increased prices for electricity and it's going to see the state $1 billion a year worse off. Our state political reporter Lee Jelasek joins us now from hopefully a quieter Bankstown station. Lee, if the bad government wins the next election, is there any guarantee this sale will go ahead? Not at all, Mark. While Mike Baird is expected to win the election and have, and have control of the lower house, getting this through the upper house could be an altogether different proposition and challenge, and that's because it's highly unlikely that he would have control of the upper house, which could mean having to do some deals with those colourful minor parties like the Shooters and Fishers Party or perhaps the Christian Democrats. And we only need to look to Canberra to see some of the challenges that Tony Abbott has had trying to get rid of the carbon tax, Mark. Righto, Lee, thank you.